now to an emotional reunion at Logan Airport. A mother and daughter separated at the border, now reunited here in Boston. The Trump administration's order had split them up, but a lawsuit has brought them back together. WBC's Julie McDonald is live tonight at Logan with the story. Julie. Well, Liam, it was a joyful end to a nightmare for this mother and her little girl. But the lawmakers and the legal team here with them today say their work is far from over. This is just one of thousands of families who are separated right now and so scared. This eight-year-old girl hugs her new doll, a belated birthday present after turning eight while detained in a Texas shelter. But the real gift is one she'll remember her whole life, being reunited with her mother Thursday after nearly two months apart. I can say today I'm the happiest woman in the world. The mother and daughter arrived in the U.S. May 9th seeking asylum. Days later, they were separated. With Angelica, the mother transferred to another state. A translator read part of a poem the little girl wrote while they were apart. The birds are sad when the sky is cloudy. I feel the same way when you're not at my side. A civil rights lawsuit was filed on behalf of the family before the federal district court in Boston. After more than 50 days, they are together again, just as they should be. This has to stop. This is trauma inflicted on children, and it is trauma inflicted on parents, and it is entirely unnecessary. Necessary. The Metro West Immigration Solidarity Network is fundraising for Angelica to support her until she can work. The mother says she feels reborn, her heart filled with joy and gratitude. The, the whole of my life is here today with me, the most beautiful thing that I have received in my life. Well, Katie and Liam, listen to this. Now that this little girl is safely back in her mother's arms, we learn that she has two wishes. She wants to see snow and she wants to try pizza. Fortunately for the rest of us, we've still got some time before the flakes return, but they're going to try to make that pizza happen for dinner tonight. Live from Logan Airport, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Julie, thank you very much. Well, the woman who